All right, so today we're going to be testing out my go-to bands for target shooting. Gong Chi White 0.5. Don't go away. Sorry, guys. Gong Chi White. I've had these, this roll for quite some time, and I've been really, really uh, using it sparingly because uh, they are one of my favorite bands and one of the bands I shoot the most accurate with. Um, I've had people ask me, how come, how come I was saying this was my go-to band? I thought you liked Sniper Sling and this band, that band. I do like those bands. I really do. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. But the bands that I actually shoot the best with, when I'm looking for my best accuracy and all that stuff, is actually Gong Chi White. Uh, and I realized that I hadn't never tested them before. So it's time to, to get outside and actually uh, see what, what kind of damage we can do with these guys. Um, I'm pretty sure these are not going to be the fastest bands out there, but there's a lot of things about it I like them. And the one thing I could tell you with the experience I've had with these bands, one of the best draws I've ever felt. So let's go ahead, get a band set whipped up. We'll see what the kind of speeds, kind of penetration, kind of draw weight, uh, all that stuff. We'll figure it all out today, and we'll actually finally get to know what kind of, what kind of numbers we can get out of these bad boys. So let me get this uh, camera up real close. We'll whip up a band set, and then we'll, uh, I guess we'll get out testing. All right, we're looking at an elongation of 6.5. So I'm going to have to cut cut a strip off of this roll here, 13 centimeters long, and we're going to max these bad boys out. I'm going to go ahead and cut off a couple of pieces and uh, whip up this band set here. All right, so today we're going to be shooting the Prime Fork Cygnus to test out these bands. And uh, on the band set that we made, we're actually using a Celtic Caddy uh, pouch. So uh, let's get a couple shots on this guy warmed up, and I'll explain what happened yesterday. All right, we got that small little dot just on the right there. Let's see how close we can get to it. That was pretty close. Let's try one more. Do the same hole again. All right. Not a bad little grouping for a warm-up shot. We're looking at uh, all of those would have touched a four centimeter flipper. It's pretty nice. This guy's here uh, where I was shooting off pretty a uh, little bit to the left, but doing pretty good keeping my group in there. I tried bringing it over, but I overcorrected the past two shots in here, and I had one funny, funny uh, shot that dropped low, but that's all right. I'm happy with that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test the draw weight. Uh, my draw length is 30 inches long, so um, with the bands maxed out, they should just reach there. So we'll see what the draw weight is on a maxed out band set. And uh, we came in at around 7.6 pounds or 3.55 kilograms. Really nice. Here we go. Penetration test at 8 mil steel. See how we do. All right. We hit a little high on this one. The rain's coming down. So uh, I'm going to have to take one more shot with 9.5 millimeter steel, and we may have to do the speeds on another day. Okay, here we go. 9.5 millimeter steel. All right. 
two holes for sure. I'm all right, guys, once again, we're going to have to do a voiceover. We had problems with the mic once again and all the rain stops. But here we go, 285.4 feet per second with 8 millimeters steel. 285.4 feet per second. Two hundred eighty four point two. Two hundred eighty nine point zero. And last shot. Two hundred eighty seven point eight feet per second with eight millimeter steel. Okay, here comes nine point five millimeter steel, and we got two hundred thirty two feet per second. A little bit on the slow side, in my opinion. 234 feet per second. 235.6 feet per second. 234.8. And 231.6. So I'm just going to roll this clip here. We'll be talking about these bands a little bit. I think uh, we should probably talk about the speeds first. The speeds, from what we've been testing, most of the time we're hitting around that 300 feet per second mark with other bands. These did not get that high. They're a little bit on the slower side. But for me, that's okay for uh, target shooting bands. I don't have an issue with that at all. So reaching the 280s and 290s is more than enough speed for target shooting. And uh, for that, I give, it, I give it a win. Now, to kind of back that up a little bit, we did a penetration test with 8mm steel and 9.5mm steel. Both of those were able to puncture a soup can. So as far as I'm concerned, you're getting more than enough impact um, with these bands, with both those steels, to do some serious damage. Now, where these bands really shine is the light draw. Coming in at 7.6 pounds, adds for a really nice draw that's very stable in the hand. You can actually keep it on target really, really easy without having any hand fatigue or anything like that. That with a reasonable speed, gives you great accuracy. You can't go wrong. So I typically end up cutting my bands slightly longer. I add an extra half centimeter to these bands, and uh, they'll, they'll end up weighing in at 6.5 to 6.7 pounds, which cuts off an extra almost a full pound, and it really makes a big difference in the accuracy. So while I'm shooting on this 30 millimeter flipper from 10 meters away, um, I end up going 10 on 10 uh, with, these, uh, with these shots. Just one after another, planking away. I'm able to keep my fork tip right on my target, lining it up on my draw weight length. And you see me shaking my hand a little bit. That's only because I've got about 200 shots on the day. And uh, I am getting a little bit tired. So to me, Gong Chi White uh, are some of the most accurate bands I've ever shot to date. Um, I get reasonable speed, decent penetration with a light draw weight that's repeatable over and over and over again. And the proof is in this clip. Just constantly hitting the target over and over and over again. So as far as I'm concerned, Gong Chi White gets two thumbs up. Now please remember guys, when you're out there looking, looking for a new set of bands, it's not only about the speed. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. So if you want to get your hands on some of these, check out uh, Caddyshack Catapults. It's the only place I've ever found them. Fantastic, but they got a good delivery service. And I'm sure you won't be sorry getting these bad boys if you're shooting 8mm steel and popping targets in your backyard. All right, so that's it for me. You guys take care. Get out on practice. Stay safe. Be good to each other. See you again soon. Love you guys. You're freaking awesome.